Hey guys, welcome back to the Google Guru. Today I'm going to talk about an exciting new update to Gmail, which is the new Compose button. And although it's not completely finished yet, Google's still adding some features to it. They've already let people start the trial period, and I'm sure a lot of you already have begun. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of what you can do with it. So once you press Compose, the message will now pop up in a window as opposed to taking you to a different page. So it basically makes it so you don't really have to save drafts anymore. You can open up an old email and copy and paste something quite easily. The biggest component of the new Compose button is that you can stay in your inbox while composing mail. And as you'll see, it has most of the same features as the old Compose button. On the bottom, you can see the formatting options and it pretty much has everything you'd need, including numbered lines and bullet points. Next to that, you'll see that you can attach files, and you'll see that the emoticons and insert invitations are coming soon. Now, if you click on more options, you'll see that you can use canned responses. It'll have all your canned responses from before. So you can just put one in there. And another thing is that you can compose several messages at once, which is pretty nice. Also, remember that if you want to go back to the old Compose button, you can go to More Options and press Switch Back to the old Compose. And now, when you compose an email, it'll look just like it did before. And you'll see on the top that if you want to switch back to the new Compose experience, you can just press that. So the new Compose button really changes the way that you can send emails and search your inbox while sending an email. And I think it'll be quite useful. And I'm really glad that Google came out with this update. So that's going to be it for today. I hope you're just as excited as I am about these great new features to Gmail.